Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about data handling. And in data handling, we are going to focus about the meaning of data and data handling, recording data in different contexts, organizing different type of data using table. First of all, we'll try one question on it. So to try the question, you can pause the video. So in this question, what you need to do, you need to count the different type of fruits and write the name and number of each fruit. So the name is being already written in the table. You need to write the number in front of it. So to count the apples, you can count it in such a way it's three. So we can put three over here. Similarly, we can count the number of pear, which is four, banana, which is 12, orange, which is five, and cherry, which is eight. So this is the answer of the question over here. Now we move ahead and we are going to discuss about data. So basically a data is a collection of information in the form of numbers, characters, or symbols. So after collecting the data, what do we need to do next? We need to record it. So that is called as recording data, which means collection of information on a particular topic or event, which could be used for further analysis. And the data can be recorded using direct observation, survey, and sample. Now, say you have been given with the data of nine students playing different types of sports. So in this way, we can record the data. And you can see that in the tabular form on the left-hand side, the student name is being mentioned. And on the right-hand side, the sports that like the most, that is mentioned. Now, after recording the data, we need to organize the data in such a way so that it could be easy to analyze it. So we can organize the data in this way. We can make three columns in a table. In the first column, we can write the name of the sport. In the second column, we can write tally marks. And in the third column, we can write the number of students. So in this way, it would be easier to analyze the data. Now, here is a question for you for a practice. So you can pause the video and try the question. So basically, in this question, you have been given with the maximum temperature of 17 days of a certain place. You need to organize the data and you need to write that in the tabular form. So you can make the table and you can organize the data in such a way so that it would be readable. And as you can see that the temperature is given in degree Celsius. So we can make a table and we can organize the data accordingly. So first of all, we'll make a table and we divide the table into three columns, temperature, tally, and number of days. We'll write the number of temperature being given to us. So it's 35 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Celsius, and 38 degrees Celsius. So we can write it in, in this way, and then we'll count them. So you can count it, and you will be able to find that 35 is 3, 36 is 5, 37 is 4, and 38 is 5. Here. So the answer of the question is 3 over here, 5 over here, 4 over here and 5 over here. This is the answer of our question. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit JustTutors.com.